Well, in New England, you never quite know when you're going to have snow. But uh, this is I, the warmest winter I can remember in 50 years, where we have so little snow cover on the ground. We've had such warm weather where it goes from being, we did have a couple really cold days, but then it got extremely warm and everything that you make snowmaking wise melts. So we've been able to survive because we made snow two or three feet thick in some spots and that allowed us to get through the warm 60 degree days we've had quite a bit of this, this winter. Anytime the weather is reasonably warm, you'll see golfers out. Uh, so we have half the course probably people are golfing and half are skiing right now. I mean, this is supposed to be vacation week this week, and this should be filled with kids learning how to ski and just having fun. But uh, we had, can't really even groom much right now. So we haven't, uh, we're not open, not offering our lessons during this week. Yes, you do. You'll crawl it over to mommy. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I see you. I see you. Do, do. Come here, doo -doo. We'll talk to you. This winter, probably, I would describe as a lost winter because it just hasn't felt like winter. It's been cold. We've had, you know, you, to wear our big coats and put on our boots to walk outside, but it's dry. It's strange to walk outside and just see you know, brown grass, bare ground, that's it. You know, we have our snow shovels sitting outside and we've used them once. Um, I'm not complaining too much about that. Nobody likes shoveling snow, but I like the fact that we have to shovel snow. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been, we've called it a dud, a dud of a winter. Say cheese. <laughs> Shoes, no boots. <laughs> For many years, we, we and a group of friends used to go up to New Hampshire and rent a house for a few days in December, during the December school vacation. And after a while, we gave up on that because there was no, no snow in December there anymore. We kept going farther and farther north, and we delayed it until February. We, we were thinking, we were, up until this year, we were thinking, well, there's always snow on the ground somewhere in February, and this year there isn't. A small upside to there being less snow is, um, is I'm a bicycle commuter and so I, I, I bike from, from our house out here in Melrose to, to my office in, in Boston um, and the, the opportunities for that are greater now that there's less snow um, and we've had a mild winter. Um, there's less gear to wear, things like that. There are many downsides and, and we've touched on them, um, but one of them is, is seasonal work. Um, a lot of the folks that do landscaping do snow removal in the winter and there isn't much landscaping to do in the winter time and without snow those folks are out of work. And then daddy? I wanted them to experience that feeling of um, majesty of what the snow does to the, the physical environment and we have none of that now. It looks the same as it did three months ago and the same as it will two months from now. And so living in New England just has lost a lot of its magic. I'm Bill Gary. I live here in Stratford, Connecticut, and uh, this is our first winter storm on February 28th, which is uh, obviously very surprising. You figure November, December, January, we would have had snow. 
Nope, this is our first snowstorm, the last day of February. 